What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. Today we have a brand new feature added to the iDevice Toolkit application, the application that I released for tweaking iOS devices. And it allows you to enable various tweaks on iOS with the brand new exploit by Ian Beer that was released. However, now I have added also a file manager, a proper one, not the one from the uh, tweak creation menu. And as you can see, it's now available here at the top, right next to the terminal. And if you open it, you can see that I can now browse the files and this device is not jailbroken. So it doesn't have access to all the paths however those that are available can be seen in here and you can actually go ahead and browse files folders and so on so you can see exactly what's going on in here you can uh, open the assets for example the info plist in here you can open it and you can see the content of the uh, plist file or the property list file you can copy the path if you need it for tweaking purposes and of course you can also see details about the file like the size the creation modification date the owner and the permissions you can also play audio files and you can view images and so on. So let me demonstrate that in a second. We're gonna go here in the audio folder. There should be the UI sounds. So the sounds that iOS makes for various things, for example, the camera timer and power connect and so on. This does allow you to better control the tweaks that you make, or if you want to say disable a specific sound. With this, I can play the sounds in here to see which is which, and then I can get the path of it by opening it. So go ahead in here, copy path, and I can now create a tweak that disables that sound. So I can disable the camera shutter sound, I can disable the uh, sound that it makes when I plug in the charger and so on. You can make various tweaks with this. Now you can also browse various paths. I have a couple of them in here. If you click the uh, circle button over here, you can see that there is a few jumps that you can make. So jump to root to system and frameworks and developer. And uh, yeah, there are multiple files available over here, but not all paths are available. For example, if I go here to the dev folder, it says that the directory is empty or I don't have access to these contents. The exploit is not helping me in this. Sorry. Well, I'm not using the exploit because the exploit can only zero out files. So it doesn't allow me to read anything in particular. So all the paths that are available are cleverly taken from the currently available paths that are exposed to the even jail devices. However, I can see some of the paths, including the developer over here. And I can go ahead and say, go to the applications and to the library. You can see these diamonds over here in the developer folder, private frameworks and so on. Now this is available as well as all the the tweaks in here to switch to the Helvetica font, transparent media player, hide home bar, and so on. And you can also create your own tweaks, as I said, with the paths that you get from the app. This works on iOS 16.0 up to iOS 18.3.2 on all devices. This is the official release post on my website, iDeviceCentral.com. And here you can also see the changelog, all the supported iOS versions, as well as the downloads for the IPA file. The application is also completely open source and the source code is kept up to date. You can also see the releases as well in here and get the IPA file. The IPA can be signed with whatever application you choose. So side loadly, troll store, alt store, whatever you prefer. So definitely check it out. This is an important update because you can now view plist files, text files, hex dumps. You can play audio files, display image assets, browse the file system, and even create your own tweaks much better because now you can see the files properly. Definitely check it out. This video was brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your device if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, it's not powering on on, stuck on the Apple logo and so on. Definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. Thank you guys for watching. You can find the update on my website. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you have any suggestions for more tweaks or maybe more features for the iDevice toolkit, please let them down below. I'm GS Now. Until the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace.